On this part, you learn how to add a many-to-many -many relationship using the entity framework core. For that, you'll add the author model because we have said that an author can publish multiple books and a book can be published by multiple authors. To add a many-to-many -many relationship, you will first add the author model. Now, since the relation between the author and the book is a many-to-many -many relationship, you need to add a join table in the database. But to add the join table in the database, you need to add the join entity in your web API. For that, you'll add a new model named book author, and I'll use the underscore just so I can distinguish the join models or tables from the normal models or tables. Then next, you'll add the navigation properties, add a migration, and update the database. For that, let us go to Visual Studio. In here, let us go to the Solution Explorer, then inside the Models folder, we are going to add a new model, so add a class, and we are going to add the author model, so author.cs, and then click the Add button. Now here we are going to keep the author model simple as well, because the focus is the book model. So for that, I'll just add an identifier, prop, then double tab. I'll leave the type integer, then it will be ID. Then let us also add the full name for the author. So prop, the type will be a string, and the property name will be full name. Now, down here, we are going to add the navigation properties, but since we said that the relation between the author and a book is a many-to-many, -many. we need to add a join model. So for that, let us go to the Solution Explorer and add a new model. So add class, then in here, book underscore author dot CS, and then click the Add button. For the book author, we are going to have an identifier because the book author will be a table in our database, so it needs to have a unique identifier or a primary key. For that, just prop. I'll leave the type as integer and just ID. Then down here, we are going to add the navigation properties for the book and the author. So for that, I'll just type in here prop, then int book ID. Then prop of type book, the name will be book. Then we have the author, so prop type integer author ID, and then prop type author, just author. Let us see the changes in here. Now let us go to the author model. Since the relationship between the author and the book model is a many to many relationship, in the navigation properties, you'll not add the book as a navigation property, but you'll add the book author. And the reason for that is because the relation between the book table and the author table will be stored in the book underscore author table. So for example, let us say on the book table, you have three books, book one, two, three, and on the right side, you have three authors. Now, if the book one, for example, is written just by the author one, You'd have a row in the book underscore author table with the book ID 1 and the author ID 1. If, let's say, the second book with the ID 2 is written by the author 2 and 3, then in the book underscore author table, you'd have two rows with the book ID 2 and the author ID 2 and 3. So we can see in here that the relation is really divided from the book author. Now we have the book table which has a one-to-many relationship to the book author, and the author table has also a one-to-many relationship to the book author table. So in here we are going to add a new property, so prop, and it will be a list of book underscore author, because as we could see from the schema, the book now has a list of book authors, and the property name will be just book underscore authors. Let us copy this line and save the changes in here. Go to the Solution Explorer, 
then in here go to the book model then scroll down to the navigation properties and just paste that line in here now we added the relationship of the book and the author model to the new model book author but this relationship needs to also be configured using the fluent api for the entity framework core to be able to map it successfully for that let us go to the solution explorer then in here go to the fdb context file and here we are going to override the on model creating method so for that i'll just type protect it override void on model creating it takes as a parameter the model builder so model builder let us just name it model builder and then inside here we are going to define this relation the model builder or the relation will be defined over the book author so for that i'll just type in here that the model builder for the entity book author It has one book, so has one. Then let us say B that goes to B dot book. And the book has many book authors. So dot with many B A that goes to B A dot book authors. And then you can also define the foreign key. So dot has foreign key. And the foreign key in here will be the book ID, so bi bi dot book ID. So what we just did in here is that we define the relation between book and the book authors. Now we need to do the same for the author and the book authors. So don't forget the semicolon at the end. Now I can just copy these lines, Control C, and then just paste them down here. In here we are going to change the has one from book to author and also the foreign key will be the author id now down here let us add all the necessary db sets so we can access all the data from the database so for example on the last part we add the publisher table but since we didn't add a db set publisher in the app db context we cannot add or send data to the publisher table for that we need to add a property of type db set in here so we have the books now let us just type in here prop then double tab this will be of type db set the author and this property name will be authors then in here let us also add the book author which is the join table or the join model so prop double tab db set book underscore author and this will be named books underscore authors and then the last one will be prop db set the publisher and the property name will be publishers now let us save the changes and go to the package manager console in here we are going to add a new migration so add dash migration the migration name will be let's say many to many edit then press enter so we see that the build succeeded and in here you can see all the changes that the entity framework will use to update our database one change for example is that the name for the publisher table will be changed from publisher to publishers and that's because in the app db context file we define the name of the db set publisher to be publishers and by default it used to be just publisher because that was the model name now if you go back to the migration you scroll down in here you'll see that the table authors will be created it has a column id of type integer and is also set as the server identity then down here you have the book authors and the book authors has three columns the book id the author id and the id which is the server identity the book id and author id are both type 
integer and nullable false. And on the constraints section, you can see that the primary key for the book's authors is the ID, but the author ID is the foreign key for the author's table ID color. The same goes for the book's table, where the book ID from the book's authors is the foreign key for the book's table. Now let us go back to the package manager console. And here I'll just type update dash database and then press enter. So we see that everything succeeded. Now, if we go to the server explorer and refresh the tables, you'll see that we have two more tables, the book authors and the authors table. Now I'll use the SQL server management studio to see the database schema. So for that, I'll just connect to the server then in the databases, I'll go to my database, which is the my dash books DB. Then on the database diagrams, just right click new database diagram. In here, I'll select all the tables of the authors, then books, then books, authors, the publishers and close. Now in here, you can see the relations between all these tables, like for example, the relation between publishers and the books is one to many. A publisher can have multiple books, but a book, a single publisher. The relationship between books and authors is many to many. And for that, we added a join table, the books authors. And we can see that because we added the join table, now we have a relationship one to many from books to books authors, and also from authors to books authors.